Who TV? It's your man Cab Bottom Raw. KDadMedia.com, Cool TV. In the lab, getting the lab together. And uh, we just gonna discuss, man. Stick it to the knowledge. Skip it through the bullshit. New false prophets. You know, disruptions of the culture. Let's stay conscious. Let's stay getting that knowledge. And fuck the distractions. Had somebody that was down, but in a second they can go astray. Cause we dealing with man. Okay, it's hard maintaining daily walking in conscious, staying woke. So we're gonna go through what's going on a little bit in brief. But like I said, we stick to the knowledge. So you gotta be able to sift through the bull. If you ain't getting no, if you get more customers than knowledge. People fall off. You can ride that wave if you want to. We just need the information. To each his own, we together as a collective. But the journey is your own. So let's not forget that. So let's go. Let's go to the tape. Some of this shit that's going on out here is totally ridiculous. Because you should be old enough to know. You 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 grown. You you uh, individual. You know what I'm saying? This shit is less than childish. You know, I can't blame that on being a child because some child children and young, younger Africans, man, they get that shit a lot quicker than uh, some of you old niggas that you never get. You know what I'm saying? And so this is what they got to look forward to. You know, this shit, you know, the elders supposed to be a fountain of wisdom. Where's that fountain at? Yeah, we got a few here and there. But for the most part, they ain't got no fountain of wisdom to drink from. Look at what's out here. Who would want to drink from a rotten ass fountain or a filthy ass fountain like that? You know what I'm saying? Straight the fuck up. They believe so deeply. And shit. You feel what I'm saying? And you know. Let me, let, let me, uh. Yeah, you know, because a lot of people like to say, you know, uh, with that disrespect, first of all, I was a, 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 a five percenter for a couple months. As you can see, my, my name was Pharaoh Alliance. I'm, I'm, I'm popping off that name, so I can't escape it. Not that I'm trying to escape it, but that's where the, that's where the Allah comes from. As we know, five percent put the Allah behind their name. So, uh, that's one of my aliases. Now when you read, because I spoke on Clarence X as well to make a uh, a point, and niggas want to niggas want to say that disrespect. Now I personally came through uh for a couple months. I was already intelligent. The reason I stopped. I didn't know you could be a five percent for a couple of months. Okay. And this is no disrespect to the nation. God, so please, I'm not, we ain't debate, we ain't do nothing. This is a factual experience. So that being said, I came through the 5%. And the reason I branched off from them is because once I got a certain inventory of information, you know, and I'm not uh, speaking on all of them, but the specific of uh, my brothers I was fucking with basically told me, we don't teach that because that's not the 120. So I said, well, nigga, it's true. The fuck is you talking? Because I do research. So niggas basically try to bully me out of or, or basically speaking on or teaching anything that wasn't on with the father wrote. So now I get some oil documents, people information law from actual FBI, uh, whatchamacallit, let's say investigators who followed around black leaders, such as Clarence, such as Martin Luther King, such as Malcolm X, etc. And when these this motherfucking FBI uh, investigators that follow these people around and in their uh, let's say document uh, documenting so these people's activities, and which has, this has already been confirmed of actual elders in the motherfucking five percent nation. Outside of all of the good that Clarence did, he gambled and he drank from time to time. And this is documented by FBI that followed him around. So this is like if the FBI followed me and they say Young Pharaoh got in his car and that nigga was sipping some wine and playing a little folk. Now why is it important? If that comes out 20 years from now, which would probably be true if they tell you that, if a nigga, if a nigga was to say, 
Now, Pharaoh has drinking and dry. He, he, he's drunken and he's drunk before. If you was to tell your We need knowledge, people, not stories. Okay? But I diverse. Let's go to the next contender. You niggas have been deceived. Okay? Case your point. Can you have a president who is hit? Remember, he ain't no fucking dummy. He practices something called the art of persuasion. He is a master linguist. A wise man can play a fool, but a fool can't play a wise man. Because I might be making someone else feel uncomfortable. Did it ever dawn to you? I'm excited about my experience. Why I can't live out my experience? Oh, you're making your people feel insecure. They feel down. Why you gotta be stunning, as they say? Why are we stunning? I'm excited. I'm, I'm having fun. When you get a new pair of shoes, you walk around a little a little funny the first couple of days because you know you don't want to scuff them up <laughs> like these kids. Take a look at these ones. Wow. Yeah, take a look at those ones. You know, you walk, you walk a little different. That's what you do. You walk a little different because you know you're in a situation where you're like, man, wow, I saved up my money to wear these things, to wear these things. So, the same thing with the car, like, what? Y'all been scammed, okay? Brother selling conscious for money, for clicks, for links. It's about the knowledge. You can recognize the bullshit, okay? When niggas start going to other shit, making excuses, fuck all that, okay? You ain't supposed to be following nobody. If you like somebody the way they give you information, like that person. But if they stray off on some wild shit, let's keep it moving. Okay? Because motherfuckers can fall off. You can't go back to sleep. Okay? It's a struggle every day for me. So I can imagine once a nigga gets some money in his pocket. See, I had money before. I've touched it. I gave up material before I even woke up. So it definitely ain't about money. It's about people not knowing this information. And they ain't fully woke. And this nigga buying Gucci's and BMW i8s and nobody want to see that shit. You understand? Well, let's keep it moving. Meaning, we're not going to do the YouTube mudslinging back and forth and all of this crap. That's not, you're going to get informed of a date. You're going to show up on that date. There's going to be a tribunal of elders. They're going to deal with the case. Like we said, we are the ones, we're the spokesmen for the community that is going to inform the community. And you at the same time as to what it is right now. So this is not, we're not out here debating you. We're not challenging you to a debate. None of these things. We don't want to hear any of that talk that people that I've been hearing on YouTube that is is so frequently being flown around where people are talking that stick talking up. No, that's not what this is. This is your brothers who are protected by the community, who are a part of the community, stepping out and saying, Brother Polite is coming to an end. Right now, at this moment, it ends now, okay? Until we figure this shit out, until we clear it out, this is what it's going to be, all right? Shout out to the pillows. Let's keep it moving. They standing up. So we got to call out these fake people, man. You know what I'm saying? They get a taste of success, and just like any other Negro pen, they lose their goddamn mind. And last but not least, the netter. Now, my personal opinion, if you're going to be a platform, be a platform. Or if you're going to be a debater, be a debater. You can't have it both ways, brother. It's a conflict of interest. You got eight stations. You're, you're always interjecting. And, yeah, it, it looks kind of shady. So, that's my personal opinion. Really don't give a fuck. I just like the information. I just do find it disrespectful that a uh, a month or so ago, a couple of weeks, you had the great Phil Valentine on your station, and now you back to cooning and shit, with arguing with the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's just, we ain't got time for that. So, yeah, we want to keep it moving and keep it moving. So, 
I suggest you get yourself the shit together and apologize and and let that shit go. Let them buffoons be them buffoons. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you're a buffoon and we can't fuck with you. I mean, that's what, that's what it's looking like. Right. Come on, man. Because they were trying. They, they... So, um, dear family, that, that nigga there said it. He sat right there and let Farrell say he got his information from the FBI files and didn't check this dude. Didn't check the little boy. This is not the city that I know. That I've been known for years. This is not him. I don't know. I think he sees something sweet in this little boy. And he trying to ride that back. I don't care what nobody say. That nigga said he trying to get that little boy sugar in his tank. He hear a high pitched voice. He hear a high pitched voice in him. He see his head be slick and slinky down and wet. 